Hey everyone, it's Melissa. Today I am going to do a gift guide. But it's a little bit different gift guide because this is for you grandparents out there. I think most of the people that watch me are probably grandparents. Some of them live not close to their grandchildren. So, or even if they do live in the same time, it's town, it's always good to get some ideas on what other people are getting for Christmas. I always like to look at other people's lists too, what they're buying their grandchildren. Uh, I buy a lot of Christmas presents because I have a lot of grandchildren. I have seven grandchildren. I have two uh, granddaughters that are 11, two granddaughters that are nine, a granddaughter and a grandson that are seven, and one grandson that is five. So we run from preschool all the way up to the tween years and uh, so uh, with both sexes so I thought I would share what uh, what I have decided or what Doug and I have decided to buy the grandkids this year I always I try to start early um, in fact this year I started this summer uh, I kept my daughter's children when she was doing a theater camp and so I really talked to them about what their interests were and what room they had and what things that they were into because I saw them every day. Uh, so that gave me some ideas and I started kind of making lists. I do like a big Excel list, you know, of what I ordered, when it comes in, what it is, and how much I paid for it so I can kind of keep track of that. And then I let it, you know, I make a little mark when I have wrapped it. So uh, I, you know, I try to buy them the same number of gifts and sort of, you know, the same cost and, and you know try to try to make it really fair and I also talk to the parents because some of the things that they may want to get uh, you know the parents may not want them to have or they don't have room for it you know their um, you know space is limited so I always talk to them too now my daughter and my daughter-in-law both will usually do a a Christmas list on Amazon, a wish list on Amazon. So that's always very helpful. When I buy something, it takes it off their wish list and they can give it to other family members that can see what has been bought and, and what they can still buy for their, you know, for their relatives, for their grandchildren too. So that's always really helpful. I go by that. And, you know, I, I really uh, talk a lot to the grandchildren to see what their interests are. So anyway, that being said, I think I will go ahead and get started and sort of tell you what, what things I have bought. So I'm gonna start with the two oldest girls, the 11 year olds. The first, uh, my old, very oldest granddaughter by a few months, uh, is into sort of, she's in, interested in jewelry, uh, she has her ears pierced, and but she has a lot of earrings and she is wanting to get bigger hoops, but her mother doesn't want her to, so we, I did not do anything, like that, even though she kept, you know, begging me to, you know, get, get me some bigger hoops. I said, no, you're, you know, your mother isn't ready for you to do that yet, so I can't, I can't do that. Um, so, you know, like, that's one of the instances I have to, to respect what the mother says, but she's, um, also likes to dress kind of funky and, you know, interesting and stuff. So these are some things I got her. She picked out these, and her mom was okay with it, these, these really cute uh, Converse tennis shoes. So they've got, uh, they've got green and black and white. They're, you know, kind of, kind of textured-y looking. So they're Converse All-Stars, kind of old-fashioned. So she's going to really like them. That's, that's exactly her style. She... Uh, is a knitter and a beautiful knitter. Uh, so she's been making lots of washcloths. And uh, so I got her some very nice knitting needles that she can just fly on. These are from the Addy. If you're a knitter, you know that the Addy Turbos are just wonderful knitting needles. So I tried to uh, go in with her hobby on that one. And um, I also got her, a, and this was my daughter's idea, a subscription service. I got three of my grandchildren's subscription services so that they can get some things, you know, throughout the year. Uh, and she's getting bracelets from Pura Vida or jewelry from Pura Vida. I think it's bracelets. The first bracelet is going to be sent to me and so she will unwrap it and then I'll explain to her that she's going to be getting more block bracelets uh, that, you know, I signed her up for. So I think she's going to really enjoy that. It's a wonderful company that they hire artisans, give jobs to artisans all over the world. It's out of Costa Rica, and they have the real uh, bohemian-type bracelets that, 
that this a tween really really likes and really thinks is cool so she's going to be very excited about that the other 11 year old uh, is very very feminine she just had her ears pierced uh, she likes things she has long hair she likes to do different things with her hair different braids and stuff and uh, very kind of a classic look but i got her several earrings i got some from etsy and some from amazon i got some little hearts and I think especially if they just had their ears pierced and she's just now able to change her earrings right as Christmas is coming up. So I got her hearts. I got her little butterflies. I think most of these I got from Etsy. Little butterflies. I got her some unicorns. Let's see if her unicorns are in there. Uh, for a little stocking stuffer, she wanted, she picked out some of these. And I let them pick out some things too. She loved these little bands that are that are unicorns. Uh, she loves to read, so I got her. She loves these books. They're the Whatever After Books. And what they what they do, she's starting to collect them. What they do is they take these. Uh, it's about a girl and her brother, and they travel through a mirror, and they go to fairy tales. And they look at traditional fairy tales, and they change it up a little bit, or they decide that, oh, that, that princess, you know, they didn't like that princess after all, so they're going to change it up a little bit. And they're going to do make the prince do something else too, to change up the fairy tale a little bit. So it's a lot of fun, and they just she just really loves this book, and her sister does too. And uh, she is also getting an American Girl doll. She has not had one before. Her parents have resisted, but she has really wanted one for a long time. So she's getting an American Girl doll. Okay, the two nine-year-olds... Uh, one of the nine-year-olds is getting, and unfortunately, I've wrapped most of the girls' presents, so I'll show, be showing you more boys' presents. So, the one nine-year-old that is my daughter's daughter, she is very into Shopkins, and this is an idea, too. If they have a hobby where they collect things, she is trying to collect all the Shopkins that there are, so she's going backwards now and getting the ones that are no longer made. Um, this one right here I got... This one is from uh, season one. They are hard to find. I can usually find them on eBay or sometimes on Amazon. But it's really neat for her because she's a collector. She has a special place, a special shelf uh, where she really takes, she takes really good care of her things. So these collector item Shopkins are just something that she really wants. And this is, this is one from season three. These are some that she didn't have. And I have even, um, I've even gotten some from eBay, you know, that are just, you know, just a little bitty, just individual. And it doesn't seem like it would be much of a Christmas present, but it's important to her because it's one that she doesn't have. So um, that is going to mean a whole lot to her. So that's what I mean about, you know, finding out what their interests are and if they, I think sometimes when they get about 9 to 11, they start collecting things, and uh, whether it's little horse figurines or something. So they're very interested in getting those for Christmas. Something else that the girls, uh, I think a Mary Poppins, Mary Poppins movie I think is coming out soon. So they've become very uh, interested in the Mary Poppins books. So we've gotten uh, Mary Poppins Comes Back, Mary Poppins Opens the Door, and Mary Poppins in the Park. This one's already wrapped up. So we've got those for some of the older girls that enjoy that. I was going to show you another one that I got off eBay for, this is a little Shopkin, a little collector's item Shopkin that she's just gonna be really thrilled with. My other granddaughter also likes the boxcar children. They're mystery stories where these uh, children go and solve crimes and so they, they've collected all of them. She's collected all of them. And so I'm going into, um, we've, we're trying to complete her collection, another collection. We're trying to complete her collection of the boxcar children. So she went through and gave me some ideas of the ones that she didn't have anymore. Um, she also loves stuffed animals. She's nine, but she's uh, really, really loves stuffed animals. When their place flooded, uh, you know, I've told you they live with us right now. When their place flooded, hers got destroyed. And um, they, they had all been downstairs where, and gotten, gotten flooded. So they had to get rid of all her stuffed animals. So we're starting all over with her stuffed animal collection. 
I have already wrapped those up, but I will link them below. But uh, just, you know, a squirrel, and just, she likes them about this size, and she lines them all up and decorates her bed with them and, and stuff. So uh, she really enjoys the stuffed animals. And so, um, I've, like I said, those have already been wrapped up. Uh, I got a squirrel, I got a fawn, I got an otter, uh, I got a panda, just, you know, several to really restart her collection again so she's just going to be really thrilled about that she picked out some favorites that she liked and uh, then i took it from there and picked out some ones that i thought she would like my granddaughters at school slime is just a real big thing i got these at walmart this is uh fruit cocktail slime and this one is mint chocolate chip slime but they just think slime is just great. And so these will be stocking stuffers. They, I, I, one of them I got is kinetic slime. That's already been wrapped up too for a stocking stuffer. But they, slime is really big for, for uh, I think from probably about third grade through sixth, something like that. That age group really loves slime. And they have a good collection at Hobby Lobby and they have a good collection at Walmart. Oh, my older, uh, one of my older granddaughters too, she has a, a new poodle. She loves animals and she has a new poodle, the one that's getting the converse. Um, and so we got her, we have this made on Etsy. It says Poodle Mom on it. So she's gonna really like that. She likes hoodies, it's a hoodie. And she likes them real oversized. And so she, we got her, you know, she's, she's tall and so, uh, she's about taller than her mama is now. So, you know, we got a little bit larger, an oversized one, and it says Poodle Mom on it. So I think she's really going to like that. So just something that are their interest and that you can see that they are really going to enjoy. The next one is for one of the nine-year-olds that just loves to uh, do arts, do artistic things. Uh, from Kiwi Co., Kiwi Co., K-I-W-I-C-O, um, I got her a subscription service too. And we got the one that is called Doodle. It's a crate that you get every month uh, and it, it makes, you can make a service. You can make a wooden clock and it comes with all the materials, the craft materials. And so she will make a wooden clock that month. Uh, there's an ink wash painting. And I will link their website because there's little videos you can watch and it will kind of give you more of an idea of, you know, just all the materials come with it and even little things to put you know water in your paint in and that comes with it it comes with a thing to make a complete uh, kit so um this is uh, this is the ink wash painting which is she's going to love that another one is color blocked candles so she will do candles in blocks of wax and stuff everything complete comes with it your wicks everything so these are little diy things they come in little crates and they're called, uh, we got the Google Doodle uh, Pack. We got the Doodle subscription, D-O-O-D-L-E, and it's KiwiCo.com. So I will be, make sure that I link that because she loves crafts. She loves doing it every month. She can look, look at a new craft and it makes a really good piece that she can hang in her room or they can hang out in the hall or wherever they want to. And it's, um, I don't know, it's just rewarding for them and gives them something to do to look forward to so like i said there are different things that they offer at the kiwi co but we got the doodle one which is doing crafts and it's a subscription service so now uh, we're going to go to the younger two the uh, my seven-year-old granddaughter is well she likes building things too and she loves american girl we i had bought one of these one time and she just loved it she builds them and then she displays them on her shelf. Every girl has their own shelf to display their things on. Uh, this is the American Girl Construct. So this one is constructing. This is McKenna and Tulane. And they are constructing an exercise kit. So it's kind of like um, Legos meets American Girl. So it's the Mega Constructs from American Girl. She's going to love that. So the next one is also American, uh, American Girl Mega Constructs, and it's Luciana Space Lab. My daughter's girls have American Girl dolls, and so they're always looking for new things with that. But she just loves to build these kits um, with the American Girl, and she has to do it all herself. She follows the directions. She asks for help if she needs it, but she doesn't want you helping her at all. She wants to do it herself, and she is seven. 
Okay, I also got a subscription service from KiwiCo for the seven-year-old granddaughter. And these are, let me show you, these uh, on their websites, they have one, a crate, a subscription crate, uh, that they will send you a crate every month for every age group. We've got zero to 36 months, we've got three to four, we've got five to eight, which is one I've done the seven-year-old. It is science, art, and more. We got the Atlas, which is geography and culture, and the Doodle Crate, which is what I got the nine-year-old. It's ages nine to 16. The Tinker Crate, which is science and engineering, and the Doodle Crate is art and design. And then you got the Eureka Crate, which is ages 14 to 104. It's engineering and design. So I will put a picture up here of this webpage so you can see what the age groups are and what they offer. But these subscription services are absolutely wonderful and uh, these people do not know who I am. I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. My daughter discovered them and we just thought it was a terrific idea to get for uh, for grandparents to get for their grandchildren. For one thing, it helps the, the grandchildren remember the grandparents every month when they get a new crate. Uh, I just thought those were great ideas. Okay, going to the boys. I know this is long. I will really try to wrap it up, but these are, I just, I just really was really inspired this year and had a lot of help, and I, I really wanted to share them. So um, the two boys are ages five to seven. They are brothers, so they share a lot of things. So we got the seven-year-old. He likes the Justice League, and he uh, can read now. So we got them the just the Justice League, the I Can Read collection of the Justice League. We got him a Superman I Can Read. The little one, we got the audio and the book of the cat in the hat. I got, they're getting uh, my first tool set. My, the seven-year-old, he wanted this so bad. He's going to love it. It's a little robot. And I don't know if you can see, but you clap your hands and you can direct it to do different things. And the robot will do what you want to. Plus, I think you can also control, oh, here it is. Plus, I think you can also control it with a controller, too. But he'll dance, and he'll do gestures with you and stuff, and he'll raise his little hands and, uh, you know, do, do the things that you do. But he just fell in love with that, so he's going to be very excited to get this. It's called the Smart Robot, so he's going to really flip over that. And the youngest one loves excavating and, you know, any, anything like that. So, of course, the big excavator for him. And this is a mechanical, uh, you can build uh, two different cars and then you make them, after you build them, you, they will work with remote control down there, you can see. But it, it will make this car and it will make this car. You can change it up and make that car and then put your batteries in the remote and then race them. Now, it doesn't make it at the same time. I think you use, use the same materials to create a different car. So if they get tired of one car, they can switch and make another car. So they're gonna, they like to build things too. These are two more I'm adding in that I forgot to mention. The first one is for, you know, your little guy, the five-year-old. He, he will love this, taking this to preschool. He goes to preschool three days a week. And it's a Ninja Turtle little thermos. He, he's just going to love that. He loves things like that. And then also for both of the boys, uh, these are what are called uh, power, brain power mag tiles. They're 3D magnetic building tiles. These colorful tiles that are magnetic and sort of 3D and then they snap together and they can build different, different things. So they're going to like those a whole lot and really enjoy playing with those. So those are the two extra ones. So anyway, uh, those are some ideas for maybe for you to think about getting your own grandchildren. It's just, uh, it's wonderful being a grandmother. And I know all of you out there know what I'm talking about. It's fun to buy things for Christmas for them. It's fun to see their joy. Uh, and just, um, you know, I, I'm very blessed that I get to see them on Christmas because they all come to my house on Christmas morning. And I get to see their joy and their excitement. So I'm very blessed to do that. But, uh, you know, these, are, these will work if you aren't around your grandchildren. I think the main thing is just to try to find out what their interests are and talk to their parents about it. So I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, for those of you that are grandparents, happy shopping. <laughs> so I'll talk to you all in a few days. And uh, by the way, my daughter-in-law was not feeling well today, so that's why we didn't do the video on her hair. We're going to try to do it next. So thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you in a couple of days. Bye-bye.